What's going on, pop stars? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am popping in to share one of my new recipes that I have discovered online because I am on this search to eat better. This recipe for carb free um, pizza crust that I'm gonna do and I'm very excited like I said I haven't tried it before I just found it but I'm trying to do better on our eating I eat very healthy for the most part I would say about 95% of the time I eat very 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 healthy my main problem is that I eat too much <laughs> the portion control I have yet to get that under wraps, but I am working on it. So that being said, in the midst of working on my portion control, I'm also working on bettering what I eat as well. So there's always room for improvement. You hear that everywhere, so you're gonna hear it here as well. So as you see by the title, I am making a pizza that is made with almond flour. Never in my life have I tried this, but I am excited to try today because one of the things that I absolutely love, well, two of the things that I absolutely love is bread and rice. In my culture, we eat a whole lot of rice. That doesn't make it okay, but it is what it is. So anyway, I'm gonna do almond flour. I'm going to do mozzarella cheese or moots. I'm going to do baking powder. I'm going to do cream cheese. And then I'm also going to do eggs. And then of course, on top of our pizza as our toppings, um, I'm going to do turkey pepperoni. Yes, they do make turkey pepperoni. Hello, check it out. I actually found it at our local Weg Wegmans. I have of course the pizza sauce because you know, what's a pizza without the sauce and the cheese and the crust and all that other good stuff. Um, and then we're also gonna put onions, mushrooms and possibly spinach. So I think I'm gonna do two pizzas because me and one of my girls wants the same toppings and then another one wants you know, her own thing. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog.
Okay, I am finished mixing up all the ingredients. It actually smells really, really good. Like, I wouldn't know that it was almond flour in here. So, like I said, I'm making two different pizzas because we're a house divided at the moment. <laughs> so here's the first batch. And then here's the second batch. Now, I will recommend do not mix your stuff up in a bowl this small. It worked, but I like to be able to move my hand about and really get in there and massage the dough like I need to. So I should have just started with this bowl, but I'm glad I did it as a backup for the second one. So now it's time to put it in the microwave. So you guys... This came out so good, like you wouldn't believe that this is not regular dough, like flour dough. So what I did is I sprinkled some of the almond flour on the board just to get it to set. Because as you guys know, if not, it might stick to it. it smells amazing. So, I'm just gonna roll that into a ball because I have to do the other one the same way. So I'm just gonna roll it and put it here. And then I'll be back after I finish the second one. Okay, I have them both ready. Smells amazing. Again, I'd never know that this was almond flour and healthier than regular white bleach flour. But I'm ready to do them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest started so we can get this pizza ready to eat. guys here it is not perfect but pretty good made it at least as big as the pan so I'm proud of me and now what I'm gonna do is put it in the oven to bake so it can help it set for eight minutes at temperature 400 look at that pizza crust yes honey let me keep it real with y'all that first pizza crust went in and cooperated like a champ but this one right here oh my gosh it kept sticking to the surface i put all this almond flour and everything just so it wouldn't do that and it just refused it was a problem child but i had to get all hands on deck literally i had to take out a spatula have one of my girls hold the pan to slide part of it on had one of my other girls put her hands here and her hands here and me scooping it to get all three of us onto this pan. Yo, it was all hands on deck. But when it's all said and done, oh, and let me not forget, the bad boy was breaking apart. It was just acting like a pure teeth fool. <laughs> but you couldn't tell, right? I just wanted to pop in and keep it real with you guys. So what I did is I fit it in this pan the best way I can. And I went ahead and patched up holes by mushing it together and of course when i put it in the oven for these eight minutes it's gonna bake and set and be good to go all right so i did the hard part and now i have turned it over to one of my girls to do her part so she's the one that wants just veggies on her pizza so i'm gonna let her put hers together so go ahead and get it started, baby girl. Start with the sauce.
so here is the veggie pizza that baby girl number one wants so now it's time to put it in the oven pizza number one veggie one is done looks amazing so I'm gonna give it a few so it can cool down while we start on pizza number two all right, the time has come to prep the second pizza for me and baby girl number two. So we want the mozzarella cheese, of course, with sauce, onions, turkey pepperoni, and on half of it, I may put some spinach and some mushrooms. I'm not sure yet, but either way, it's going to be good. Let's get it started, mama. Go ahead and put your sauce. It is ready to go in the oven. We decided not to put any uh, mushrooms or spinach on it because more than likely we'll be eating this with a salad anyway. So that'll give us our roughage, our greens, our veggies on top of what's already in the flour. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> and there's pizza number two. Pepperoni, onion, and extra cheese. Here. So we're having it with salad instead of our normal, which is fries proud of us and we are going to eat and enjoy so i want to thank each and every one of you all for watching i appreciate each and every one of you for supporting our channel patrice on purpose if you have not subscribed yet do us a favor and hit that subscribe button down below when you like the episode give us a thumbs up and if you have anything you want to share leave a comment down below we'll see you in the next video guys Eat healthy. You want them cut like this or smaller? Uh, that's fine. That's fine? Mm -hmm. These are really big slices. Mm -hmm. Sure? Yep. All right. Takes me back to my Pizza Hut days. That was my first job. We're gonna cut our slices a little smaller. Or do you <laughs> want them like that? No, that's good. Okay. Make us feel like we're eating more. <laughs> even though we're really not. Oh, that smells so good. Shout out to the creators of turkey pepperoni. I just wanted to show you guys what the bottom looked like after it was done. See, it even turned out like regular pizza crust. Yeah, baby. And since we're New Yorkers, we fold our slices in half because they're big enough and that's how she wanted it cut. All right, baby girl, time for the taste test. Fold that pizza like a New Yorker would, yeah. This is good. How's it? Does it taste like regular pizza dough? Mm hmm Yeah? Tastes really so good. scale of 1 to 10, can you tell that we did almond flour, or does it taste like how it normally tastes when you eat pizza? I'll give it a 9, because it's really slight, like a slight difference, but it's not that noticeable. Like, if you gave it to somebody and had them taste the difference between the two, it would be a bit hard to tell, but it's pretty good. Oh, wow. All right, so it's a keeper? Mm-hmm. Mommy did good again? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. All right, baby girl number two is trying the pepperoni and onion one. Give it a taste test. No need to fold that one unless you want to because you've been taught well. Take a minute and get them flavors in your taste buds, girl, and tell me how it is. Scale of one to 10, 10 being oh the best. Gosh, 10 is so good. It is? Mm-hmm. Like, can you tell, like, a huge difference between, like, regular? 
No. No? Really. Look at God. Really good. <laughs> Look at God. I keep trying to tell y'all you can have it and eat it healthier. Yes. Here's the proof. Yes. So once again, I have to say, mommy did good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. My girls have tried, so now it's my turn. Even though it's a smaller slice, I'm still going to fold it like us New Yorkers do. Here we go. Thank you, Pinterest. Thank you. <laughs>